Hello. Hello all and welcome to today's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say a blessing. Blessed art thou, daughter of the king of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us, and grows us with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you see the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people of Israel. May we, and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Whew. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people of Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, the king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai. Give her the Torah. May Don't I bless you and keep watch over you. May Don't I make his presence here and I may be kind to you. May Don't I boast a favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is our fourth read, and it is going to be Mark seven three one through eight thirty seven and twelve twenty eight through thirty four. That one. Come on. It's No, it don't want to. It says no. 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 Okay, Mark. There it is. Okay, then he returned from the region of Tyre and went to Sidon and the Sea of Galilee in the region of Decapolis. And they brought to him a man who was deaf and had speech impediment, and they begged him to lay his hands on him. And taking him aside from the crowd privately, he put his fingers into his ears, and after spitting, touched his tongue, and looked up to heaven. He sighed and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. And Yeshua charged him to tell, charged them to tell no one. But the more he charged them, the more zealous they proclaimed it. And they were stylish beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. In those days, when again in a great crowd had gathered, and they had nothing to eat, he called his disciples to him and said to them, I have compassion on the crowd, because they have been with me now three days and have, not, have had nothing to eat. And if I send them away... Hungry to their homes, they will faint on the way, and some of them will have come from far away. Some of them have come from far away. And his disciples answered him, How can we feed these people with bread here in this desolate place? And he asked them, How many loaves of bread do you have? They said seven. And he directed the crowd to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves. Having given thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. And they set them before the crowd, and at they had a few small fish, and having blessed them, he said that these also should be set before them. And they ate, and they were satisfied, and looked up from the broken, and they took up the broken pieces left over, seven basketfuls. And they were about four thousand people, and he sent them away. And immediately he got into the boat with his disciples, and went to the district of Dalmanutha. The Pharisees came and began to argue with him, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. And he sighed deeply in his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a tr sign? Truly, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. And he left them, got into the boat again, and went to the other side. Now that they had forgotten to bring bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat, and he cautioned them, saying, Watch out, beware of the leaven and the Pharisees, and the leaven of the Herod. And they began discussing with one another the fact that they had no bread. And Yeshua was aware of this, said to him, Why are you discussing the fact that you have no bread? Do you not yet perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Have your eyes, Having eyes, do you not see? And having ears, do you not hear? And do you not remember? When I broke bread, what, sorry, when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did I take up? They said to him, Twelve. And a seven for the four thousand. How many baskets full of broken pieces did you take up? And they said to him, seven. And he said to him, do you not yet understand? And they came to Beth Bethsaida. 
And some of the people were brought to him a, a blind man and begged that him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the village. And when he had spit on his eyes and laid his hands on him, he asked him, Do you see anything? And when he looked up and said, I see people, but they look like trees, walking. Then Yeshua laid his hands on his eyes again, and he opened his eyes. His sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. And then he sent him to his home, saying, Do not even enter the village. And Yeshua went on with his disciples to the village of Caesarea Philippi. And on the way, he asked his disciples, Why do people... What do, uh, da, 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 da. Why do people say that I am? So, who? Yeah. Yeah, this one's going good. Who do people say that I am? And they said, they told him, John the Baptist, and others say Elijah, and others, one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are Hamashiach. And he strictly charged him to tell no one about him. Come on, stop doing that. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and he rejected, and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed, and after three days rise again. And he said this plainly, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and seeing his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are not setting your mind on things of Elohim, but on the things of man. After calling the crowd to him with his disciples, he said to them, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel will save it. For what does a prophet, for what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? For what can a man give in return for his soul? Mark twelve twenty eight through thirty four, and one of the scribes came up and heard them disputing with whether and seeing that he answered them well, he asked him which commandment is the most important of all. And Yeshua answered, "The most important of all is hear, O Israel: The Lord our Elohim, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your Elohim with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this: You shall love your your neighbor as yourself." There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said this, said that he is one, and there is none other besides him. And to love him with all his heart, and with all your understanding, and with all strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself, is much more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Yeshua saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of Elohim. And after that, no one dared to ask him any more questions. <coughs> Whew. It is hot. Blessed art thou, Adonai, King of the Universe, who gives the Torah of truth and of everlasting life in the midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, Give her the Torah. Brukata Dole Lini Malak Halom Ashna Lana Tru Tarati Mat Faishi Elom Nata Beti Can you Brukata Dona Natina Tara? I'm trying to memorize this stuff so I don't look goofy with that. So, yeah. Well, that's it for tonight's Torah portion. All ha I hope you all have a good night and a fantastic tomorrow.